My name is Janet Wynne Evans. Welcome to the members room here at Stevenage. Now I can't get through Christmas without a bottle of Madeira, but I seem to be in the minority. It was the toast of London in the 18th century, but I seem to be on a perennial campaign to bring Madeira back to the mainstream. Like port, it's a brandy fortified wine from Portugal or a part of it. And also like port, it's as British as you can get offshore. Quite unlike port though, its maturation process involves a heat exchanging element, which is quite unique. This is supposed to replicate the original journey of the port in the hold of a ship, plying its way along the trade routes, going through the tropics, up would go the temperature, down would come the temperature to timber shiveringly cold. And at the end of this, what would emerge, surprisingly, was a gorgeous, mellow, pre-oxidized wine that's incredibly versatile with food. Now these days, it all happens in an estufa. That's actually Portuguese for greenhouse, but in this case, it's a tank, which artificially heats the wine to around about 45 degrees centigrade for several months and then brings it down again. But for the vintage wines and the varietal premium wines that you see here, the Cercial, Bedeo, uh, Malvasia, Boal, and the rare and wonderful Terrantege. The process is called Cantero, and it's done naturally, usually in a blistering Funchal attic. The wine that comes out at the end is fantastically long-lived. Once you've opened it, you can keep it in the fridge, not only for the whole of the festive period, but for weeks on end. So much for the practicality, now for the sensuality. The paler, drier styles like Rainwater, Video and Cercial are lovely chilled and you can serve them with dried fruit and nuts and cheesy nibbles. Wal then goes further into the figgy pudding spectrum. My personal favourite, Mormsy, which is a corruption of the grape Malvasia or Malvasia is rich and sweet and absolutely ready for anything. You can serve it at elevenses with a mince pie, fourses with a Christmas cake, any time with a sharp cheddar or a ripe Stilton. And it is absolutely delicious meditation wine. So it doesn't actually surprise me that George Plantagenet, the first Duke of Clarence, who was sentenced to death for treason in 1478, chose as his means of execution, it is alleged, to be drowned in a butt of Malmsey. Well, I think that's taking it a bit far. So my personal favorite death by Malmsey involves the following. Take a humble pack of dried fruit salad, reconstitute it in a pan of barely simmering Earl Grey tea with a spiral of lemon peel, some cinnamon sticks, some cardamom, some star anise, when the fruit is nice and plump, add a good bosun's ration of dark Caribbean rum and a dollop of cognac. Let it infuse, scatter with flaked toasted almonds and serve with chilled cream and a glass of Malmsey. Do not operate heavy machinery. Merry Christmas, my dears.